How's it going everyone? My name is Potato and welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto video. Today we're going to be going over and talking about Luis Lopez, the main protagonist of GTA 4, The Battle to Gate Tony, and kind of speculate on where he may be right now. So I'll get to all that in just a moment, but before we get started with the video, if you guys do enjoy this kind of content and would like to see more, be sure to leave a like. And I want to issue a little challenge to you guys on this video, if we could go for 400 likes, that would be awesome, I know it's possible, I just need your guys' help on it, of course. And we are also on the road to 100,000, so if you guys do enjoy the content and would like to subscribe for more, be sure to just click that red button below the video, and with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. So, if you guys don't know, of course, Luis Lopez was the main protagonist of the Battle of Gay Tony. Um, the standalone DLC that came out for GTA 4, and it, he's the only character in the GTA 4 trilogy, including The Lost and Damned, The Battle of Gay Tony, and GTA 4, to either not be referenced, or to either, yeah, to either not be referenced or seen in GTA 5. Of course, we know what happens to Johnny and his little treatment with Trevor, and Nico Bellic, he is just simply referenced multiple times throughout the game, and I made a video on that the other day, I'll link in the top left corner of your screen, but... Luis Lopez, we don't hear any, any, we don't see him in the game, we don't hear anything about him, he's not referenced on any of the end game websites, there's no easter eggs pointing towards him or anything. The only thing I can think of is some Franklin, or a Franklin trailer that came out before the, the initial release of GTA 5, and Franklin was wearing a similar jacket to that of, or Luis Lopez's uh, default outfit, so... Like I said at the beginning of the video, we're going to have to kind of speculate uh, and use some evidence from in-game on where Luis could possibly be and what he's up to. And I just want to confirm this, and I know this for a fact, that due to the fact that, or due to the simple fact that Luis Lopez, we don't hear any mention of him or see him in GTA 5, uh, we have a 99% chance to believe that he is still alive and kicking it or else we would have known uh, we would have seen some sort of in-game reference pointing towards the fact that he has been killed in some way, shape, or form. So, uh, Luis Lopez is this, uh, I would say, a lot of people say that he was a, he was a douchebag. A lot of people didn't like him simply because of that, and a lot of people thought he was, the early, he was a lot of people's favorites, and he wasn't as poverty co conscious as Nico Bellic or Johnny Clevitz, for example. He came from a, a pretty good home. You, you get to meet his mother in the game, and that's a cool fact about uh, Luis Lopez. You get to talk to his mother, see her in some cutscenes and stuff, but he doesn't come really from a very poor family, I guess you could say. Maybe like a, a lower middle class family, uh, but Lu Luis Lopez, he's business orientated, does a lot of uh, work in managing at the Masonette and Hercules. Uh, nightclubs, he, he dreams real big and encourages others to dream big as well, and I know this isn't a, a history video on Luis Lopez, but that's him if you guys have never played the Battle of Gay Tony before. So, a at the end of the Battle of Gay Tony, there is this dialogue, little scene that goes on, and basically Luis says, Liberty City is my home, and I, I, I don't plan on going anywhere else, I'm just going to settle down here with my family. So, that's what leads me to believe, and I just personally think that Luis Lopez is still in Liberty City. Maybe he moved to Vice City, I highly doubt that, there's been some speculation on that, but we have no real evidence aside from what we hear in GTA The Ballad of Gay Tony. And of course, that game took place in 2008, I believe. Uh, and GTA 5 takes place in 2013, five years after um, the events of GTA 4. So things could have changed since then. Maybe Luis's mom died. I highly doubt that. She was fairly young, maybe in her 50s or early 60s uh, in GTA 4. So it just leads me to believe that, yes, Luis Lopez is probably still in Liberty City, just living the simple life and kicking it, and that's probably the reason we don't see him in GTA 5, for example, just due to the fact that he says himself that he doesn't want to leave Liberty City. He doesn't plan on leave, leaving Liberty City just due to the fact that that's home, that's where all his friends are, that's where he everything that, or that's where his everything is. Liberty City is his everything. So that's my reasoning behind Luis Lopez not appearing, and Grand Theft Auto 5 or Rockstar not pointing or giving any hints as to what he may be up to in GTA 5. However, I'm not saying that we will never see him again. Maybe we could see him in a GTA 6 or in a DLC for GTA 5. Not an online DLC, of course, but maybe a standalone DLC in a few years or a single-player DLC with some new dialogues, maybe a Stranger and Freak mission. Who knows? 
But with, with that said, that's really just about it for the video. If you guys did enjoy and would like to see more like it, be sure to leave a like. And let's go for 500 likes or 400, whichever one it was. I know we can do it. Uh, regardless, guys, the, the, the overwhelming support you guys have been showing me is just awesome. So I want to thank you for that. Be sure to subscribe if you are new around here. And with all that out of the way, that's just about it. You guys all take it easy. Have a safe one. And I will talk to you later. Bye.